Hey, you were up early. Yeah, I feel like I'm coming down with something. So, um, Andy said the kids could stay with him for a few days. Just don't want them to catch anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, that means I can concentrate on looking after you. <laughs> and I'm sorry about yesterday. I got myself wound up. You didn't need the hassle. So let me make it up to you, starting with breakfast. Uh, well, I've I've got some work to catch up on, actually. Oh, hey, 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 just half an hour, me and you. I need you to go to the car wash this morning and, and pick up a car for me. Well, can't it wait? I mean, you're my priority. You look washed out. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's make a girl feel better. Well, maybe I do. Listen, give me a chance, yeah? Bold egg and soldiers. Why not? way too close for my liking. Which is exactly why this place is perfect. Try not to worry. We know what we're doing. What if Debbie backs out? She knows what she has to do. The best thing you can do is back her up. Meaning? It's obvious there's history between you, but for now, you have to forget about that and work together. She needs you. I'm trying. I just want this over with now. Then tell Debbie we're ready when she is. Who's that? Oh, just, um, work. That you're not supposed to be thinking about. So do us a favour, pass me those eggs. Remember this? Yeah, where did you find it? Where you put it? Well, I, I, I thought I'd chucked it away. But you didn't, did you? You know, doesn't that tell you something, that after everything we've been through, you still couldn't let go of us? So, I know this isn't brilliant timing, but... will you marry me? A yes would be a good start. I thought you'd be pleased. No, I am. I am pleased. It's just... You know, the, the ring. I just don't want to live in the past, that's all. Well, forget the ring. I'll, we'll, we'll get another one. I just... I just need you to say that you'll marry me. Can we just go back and do it all over again, please? Well, I'm glad to hear it have that effect on you. For a while, I was starting to wonder. Babe, come on. We are on fire at the moment. I don't want this to end. Yeah, keep talking. Well, I think we should start work off and live a little, take a few risks, spend a fortune. <laughs> all right, for some. Anyone be saying that I've seen the hotel bill? Well, we can afford it, can't we? Or are we just waiting to turn into a pair of boring old farts who get worried about the interest on an ISA? <laughs> I'm sorry, no, I'd die and go insane first. Well, what are we waiting for? Mm. That is the correct answer. Cool. And you know what? If you thought last night was amazing, I might still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Yeah, well, you are the only one. <laughs> if you hear anything from your mum, get her to chase up the Earnshaw payment. It's late again. Don't look like your PA. Oh, right, well, put it this way. If you don't, I'll think about charging your rent. Oh, great, that's all I need. You two tearing strips out of each other. Yeah, well, don't panic. I'm not here for a fight. You've sacked Nicola. Don't tell me. She's bitten one of your customers. No, Jimmy. I just need a word with Debbie, that's all. Preferably alone. All oh, right, well, don't mind me. I've only been here since five. It's all in my office. Didn't you get my text? Yeah, OK. But I can't just drop everything and come running while Cameron's busy asking me to marry him. Well, you heard. Well, what did you say? Well, what do you think I said? Sorry, can we just wait until I get you to confess to murder? <sighs> you know what? If you'd have asked me a few days ago, I'd have been so happy. Now I just feel sick. Because now you know what he's really like. He's a killer, Debbie. He needs to be stopped. Yeah, I know. But it's me that's doing it, isn't it? I'm the one that's standing there pretending that nothing's wrong. He trusts you. If he's going to confess, it's going to be to you. You can't back out now. Have you said anything about backing out? We're set to go when you are. OK. 
Cameron's picking up a car. He'll be a couple of hours. Are you okay? Well, apart from Cameron proposing this morning, sort of up the ante. I've left the kids with the dad for a few days. Before you say anything about acting normal, don't. I'm not going to put them at risk. Does he suspect anything? He thinks I'm feeling ill. You do know Cameron has to volunteer any confession. If you lead him on or put words in his mouth, that will be inadmissible as evidence. <sighs> no pressure, then. It's a cliche, but try and relax. If you're on edge, you will pick up on that. She's right, Debs. I know this is hard, but you're going to have to try and keep it together. We'll be monitoring you around the clock. As soon as we think we've got what we need, we'll arrest him. And if anything goes wrong, what? We've got a task force on standby. We won't let anything happen to you. Oh, hi. Bottle of fizz on ice when you're ready. Jay won't be long. Shouldn't you be at work? I'm just taking a well-deserved, very expensive break. You and Jimmy should try it sometime. Oh, no, you can't, because you're too busy paying off your debt to the company, aren't you? Nicola, why don't you go and collect some glasses? I'll see you to charity. Hey. You deliver the goods? Don't I always? Oh, thank you. Looking forward to the next time mm. already. Yeah, well, don't, because it was a one-off. Who are you trying to kid? There's going to be more, and you know it. We need you to leave the room. Sorry? Human nature. If you know where the cameras are, you look at them. He's back. Then stall him. We need another hour at least. Hey. Hey. Where are you supposed to be lying down? Well, I thought you were supposed to be at a car auction. Yeah, the car you were after got withdrawn. So I thought I'd surprise you. You're not hiding a man in there, are you? <laughs> That's what you think of me, is it? I'm only joking. Listen, you're still feeling rough. I'm not helping, so let's go back inside and... No, I no, can... no. I, I, um, feel like I've been cooped up in there all morning. I just... I want to get some fresh air. OK. Mm. Sandwich at the cafe, Swift Pint, or we could take Jack for a walk, if you like. Ring shopping? You sure you don't want to wait until you feel a bit better? Oh. So this is you backing out on me now, is it? No. What are we waiting for? It's perfect. You're perfect. How about we go for that drink? Unless you're not feeling up to it. No, no, yeah. Um, drink sounds good. Just let's not go making a big deal out of this, yeah? Well, do you know what? I can't promise that the grin on my face won't be a giveaway. Mm -hmm. Take it works off the agenda. Yeah, for good reason. Um, looks like you're officially the first one to know. Service with this mark comes with a lot bigger tip than that. Honestly, some people just have no idea, do they? Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, still here. I'm impressed. Well, with Benice gone, I expect there'll be a lot more hours going. Don't get your hopes up. Why don't you take a break? I'll serve them. No, no, fine, honest. Just a bottle of champagne, please. You're celebrating. Yeah, you could say that. You're going to find out sooner or later. We've got engaged. You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> Debs, what the hell are you thinking? I mean, for starters, with him! Yeah, all right, Mum. We don't want any fuss. Which is why you swanned in here, so Chas can be the first one to hear. And we don't want to rub anyone's nose in it. We just... just want a quiet drink. Yeah? Well, make sure you don't choke on your bubbles. Oh, Charity, just let them enjoy it. Yeah. Jay's right. Um, really pleased for you. On me, to wish you luck. Well, you know what? I think we can safely cross your mum and dad off the wedding list. Oh, they're just in shock. I'll get used to it. I mean, it's Chaz that freaked me out. It's the way she accepted it, you know? I don't know. It's, it's like she knew. Knew what? Well, that we were always going to be together, and that nothing and no one was ever going to stop that. Carl, you mean? Oh, Carl, Jazz, doesn't matter, does it? Everything we've been for, the sacrifice we made, it's all been for this, for us. Yeah. And would you do it again? It doesn't matter, because the end justifies the means. And I swear I will never let you go again. <laughs> <laughs>